so many times we also have unspoken love languages, Mm -hmm. inside jokes, Mm -hmm. like that one Mm -hmm. that is now not just an inside joke, (laughs) everyone knows. But we have these other little things that connect us and bind us. So explore those, but make certain that you both know, right? Yeah, I mean... One of my favorites is is um, that's not necessarily in that five, but I I very much feel is as a love language is when someone texts you or or when you're in person says like hey let me know when you get home safely you know that's I, that's an I love you without saying I love you you know it's um, hey send me some pictures while you're on your vacation like I want to see you know, that you're having a great time. Again, that's an I love you without saying I love you. So there's, like you're saying, cueing in on what the people in our lives are saying that sometimes may, maybe it's like, oh, that's that was weird. Or, or you know, or maybe uh, you're a kid and your parents like, you know, text me when you get home, make sure you get home safe. It's like, oh, that's annoying. Like I'm an adult and I should, I'm going to be fine. Yeah, I can like, get home yeah. on my own. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's not about, like it's, I'm not saying don't feel the way you feel, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's important to in parallel and also read where it's coming from, cue in, seek to understand, you know, if, if it is, if that's coming from a parent, it's probably because they love you and they care about you. How lucky are you? How many kids are in this world who are struggling, who unfortunately do not have parents that uh, show love or care in that way? Yes. And I will say food is one of my love languages. Yes. We do need that pizza. We do need that pizza. (laughs) (laughs) And I know it can be seen as an act of service or a gift, Mm -hmm. but to me it goes beyond either one of those. The love energy that can be infused into food is unlike anything for me personally. And so if I make you food, I promise you that is me saying I love you. Yeah. At a whole different level. A hundred percent. Just point of reference for people that if you receive a gift of food and it looks like cookies, make sure you actually know it is cookies and not bath bombs because I these things looked exactly like really great cookies and I unfortunately found out that it was a bath bomb which (laughs) did not feel like the most loving experience in that moment but it was it was a wonderful wonderful gift (laughs) gift of love (laughs) not Um, love to the mouth but yes Yeah, just a little disclaimer there. But yeah, you know, when when you cook food for me or when I cook food for you, it's like I mean, it just it could be a simple meal. It doesn't have to be so elaborate, you know, three Michelin star, you know, restaurant quality, amazing food. It's it's already beyond that because it's made with love, because it is there's so much care and connection. And it's like like when you make that coffee in this morning, like this morning, I was just, oh my God, this, this is so good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Starbucks has nothing on this. And it is, it is it, like I can feel that love. And I know every culture has that experience. We watch a lot of cooking shows and they're like, ah, oh, the number one ingredient is love. 